famous temples, Wat Ho and Wat Phra Gang. Okay. Take a right, take a right, Siva. So over here, you've got the uh, fortress walls to the most acclaimed or proudest Thai landmark, most well-known landmark, the Grand Palace. And this is open, it's open for tours. Uh, this palace was built maybe in the 1700s. And it's no longer the home of, of the Thai king. It's okay, it's okay. It's no longer the home of the Thai king. Uh, he lives in another palace. But this was the home where the uh, Rama 4, Rama 5 lived. And uh, the movie or the play Anna and the King, which is not really real, but it took place. I mean, uh, some of it was real. She was did come from. England or Holland or somewhere and did tutor the, the king's children and it was uh, uh, at this particular palace behind these walls and it's huge just so this goes around in Russia this would be called a Kremlin with the walls that go around and the towers watchtowers and all but the, the this capital this palace in Bangkok became the capital after the ancient city of Ayutthaya, the former capital, was was raised to the ground by the uh, invading Burmese army back in the 17th, uh, 18th century. And so the king at that time uh, died, and then a, a new dynasty was formed, and. Uh, the capital was moved to Bangkok at that point. And what's to the right over there? None. I was there the other day. What is that? And that's uh, like the Navy. That's the Royal Navy uh, Museum of some kind. Naval or something. But that is a Buddhist temple. And I went over there the other day with one of my students. In she bought so incense and flowers and did her prayers or her meditation chants and uh, I watched her and then we went out and sat outside and it started raining. Yeah, the Ministry of Defense over there, that was what I was, the Navy. If I stay back and let the bus get ahead. Oh gosh. Alright, so here we are, another side of this the Grand Palace. And in the Grand Palace you have temples, you have uh, residences and museums in there. But uh, you can see some of the tourists that they, they cannot get in dressed like that. have to wear, you cannot wear shorts inside the palace grounds, but they do, you can rent uh, some pants to put on over because a lot of people are wearing shorts now at this time because it's so hot. So they've got a system in here where you can, uh, they're the guards and other, I mean, this, but they get tons and tons of people, uh, which this Grand Palace does. <laughs> you see other tourists getting out right there. Two ladies from India. It's really beautiful. And it goes on. You can spend at least a full day here. And if you I know. Yeah, let's go. And if you have, if you're interested in Thai history and you read about this, you you can stay in there even longer. It's got that much to see and do. But uh, certainly it's worth a three hour half day trip if you come to uh, to Bangkok. It's one of the must see places. It would be like the seeing the Taj Mahal or viewing uh, um, maybe the Empire State Building perhaps or if you're in Washington. I don't even know that the White House, I'm trying to think of something that would be similar to it. It would have to be something that's got you see all the little vendors to the right. 
very interesting. This is all located near the river, so we've just turned down another street. Uh, and uh, the fortress wall, uh, I guess, is about 20 feet high, 25. But I'm sure that at that time it was built that even then that there were armies that could scale the wall if they needed to but but it would have been no easy feat. Very very interesting. I wish I knew the amount of acreage of the property, uh, the size of the grounds, but you can tell it's it's, it's very significant, that's for sure. And I still think they greet, don't they greet, Kate, foreign, foreign dignitaries and people that come, sometimes they greet them here. Like if President Bush or Obama, President Obama came here, they might close off a section of the Grand Palace or have uh, a reception hall. This is a famous temple to the right. But they might have a reception hall for uh, the King of Thailand to meet as just a... a Protocol to meet the uh, to meet President Obama or Prime Minister Gordon Brown. This is Wat Po, very famous. And in the Wat Pho Gao, inside the Grand Palace walls, they have the uh, I think the most famous emerald statue that, of the Emerald Buddha that was seized in a in a war with Laos years ago and brought back to Thailand. So but the Emerald Buddha is in one of the uh, uh, temples, Rock Prakau, and it's one of the must-see things and one of the most revered uh, Buddhas in all the world. Okay, yeah, so the ancient Thai massage uh, can be learned. Here you can also get a massage at this palace, but a real traditional good massage, right Kate? Yeah. Not the well, not what we call the modern Thai massage, which, you know, uh, means a lot of things. But you can go in here and get you a good massage during the day. You can um, walk around, take photos, you can have lunch here. They have yeah, just a massage for uh, less than maybe for an hour, maybe about four or five dollars. That's all. So maybe the Thai massage somehow I have to research it. It somehow is associated with the 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 monasteries or the temples in Thailand. But very beautiful. If you can imagine this on the square in Headland, we'd be the envy of all of Alabama. Okay.